Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you the image map. So I've already got the code, because the code is a bit tedious, but I'm going to explain every single bit of the code. So first of all, let's ignore the JavaScript for now. We've got an image, it is, you know, doesn't matter what sort of image it is, we've got it at this sort of size. That's fine, simple stuff, you've, you, you've seen images before. The only difference is we've got this little attribute here, which says use map, this is just saying use a map you know element that is created which is right here it's going to name a planet map and you assign it by doing hash and then planet map here this essentially allows us to create virtual shapes around our map that aren't visually displayed but can represent objects on the map so we've got the three shapes here the first shape is and the coordinates are zero zero then 82 across and 126 down. So it's essentially this area here, the sun essentially, and you just specify the sort of shape that it is. So in this case, it is just more a rectangle, even a slightly curved there. For our case, we don't need that much precision where this will make a difference. So you put the coordinates, if you change the size, you will have to change the coordinates. I'll recommend as an extra task, trying to make it dynamic using a function. So this is more of a percentage instead of just pure coordinates. Old tag, nothing new there. Now we're just using some events on mouse over and on mouse out, and that will trigger this function. If you, know, you hover over the sun, it will send the keyword sun to this function, which just console logs it out and if you take your mouse out of the sun once it's been in the sun then it will just print out an empty line and that's the same principle for the rest of them so we got mercury and we got venus as well so let's just you know test it see what we get okay so no console logging at the moment hover of the sun and we print sun hover of the black part nothing hover over venus we get venus mercury sun and that's it, that's all the image map is. It allows you to essentially map virtual shapes around your image. So there can be sort of, a, you can trigger events on it instead of having to create several different images and almost create a uniform collage. Okay, the only difference between these two and the first one is the shape. This is circular instead. So that is, like I said, really the only difference. So you set coordinates and then you set the radius. And apart from that, that's it. They're the same. If you have any questions, as usual, feel free to pop me a message. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.